A former advisor to Margaret Thatcher and director of the Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom at the Heritage Foundation joins us now, Niall Gardner. Niall, always good to see you, but uh, man, oh man, it seems like uh, we have a poisoning pattern. You oppose Putin, you get poisoned. What do you think? Uh, great to see you, Eric. And I have to say, this is uh, really the, the latest outrageous assassination attempt by the Putin regime against a prominent uh, political dissident who has opposed Putin for, for decades. And uh, without a doubt, I think this has, uh, you know, the, uh, the hands of the Russian intelligence services all over this. The Russians like to use poisoning against uh, political enemies. We've seen this on countless occasions uh, previously. Uh, we saw the use of chemical weapons even against uh, former Russian intelligence agents, uh, Sergei Skripal, on the streets of Salisbury in England just two years ago, which threatened potentially the lives of thousands of British citizens. We are dealing with an extremely ruthless, brutal and barbaric regime that is run by Vladimir Putin. And this regime shows its opponents no mercy whatsoever. And without a doubt, this is yet another attempted assassination of a Putin opponent. They uh, allegedly have used tea before. Anna Poliskaya, uh, Alexander Litvinenko, back in 2006, had tea. Uh, Navalny apparently had tea before he boarded the flight, uh, and then got on the flight, had severe, severe reaction. They had to make an emergency uh, landing. Here we're looking at some of the alleged victims, at least poisoning victims. Uh, so what does the West, what does the U.S., what does the White House, the U.N. do about this? Well, firstly, I think we have to see uh, demands for a full international investigation into what has happened. I think we have to see full condemnation of uh, any Russian involvement in this, in this attack here. And in my view, this is certainly the handiwork of Putin's uh, henchmen. We need to sanction any Russian officials who are involved in this assassination attempt. And we have to stand up to Russia on the world stage. In addition to that, as my former boss, Margaret Thatcher, often used to say, we must stand together with political dissidents, especially those in Russia who are standing up to, to tyranny and brutality. And Margaret Thatcher would always meet with political dissidents back in the days of the Soviet Union. She would support them. She would strongly back their cause. We need to see Western leaders standing with Russian dissidents, standing up to one of the most brutal regimes of our time. And we need to see also America's European allies all united in standing up to Russia at this time. Uh, one way you can do that, uh, Alexei Navalny has a YouTube channel. Go to that YouTube channel. It has four million, four million followers. You can follow him on social media. We now have social media if you want to uh, show your support for some of these uh, Russian dissidents uh, in the manner that Margaret Thatcher and others for freedom have done. Uh, Niall, good to see you. Thank you for your insight. My pleasure. And Thank we'll you very right much, Eric.